Hello there YouTube, this is Retro Markey and here we have a Commodore 128 motherboard that I'm having some problems with. This is not a scripted video and it's also not going to be a I fixed it and solved it video. It's more of a look at some of the things I've done so far and maybe even some help from someone like Gadget UK or anybody else who has seen these issues before. So as we can see the 128 is kind of working. One thing to note is this number here uh, should not be trusted. Reason is unlike the 64 the 128 doesn't do a RAM check when you power it on. It just assumes that you've got um, this many bytes free. Now if we pop in just to show you what's going on here, start with a dead test cartridge. And this is for the 64, but it will do uh, some tests on the 128. Here we have a white flashing screen, just one, which means if I'm not wrong that the RAM chip at U38 is faulty. Now I have hot chipped it. Well, they work in round chip to see if that solved anything and it doesn't. So we do have a one to eight diagnostics cartridge which will tell us a little bit more. Et voila. So as you can see the machine isn't far from working. It's a bit like a nice car that's uh, starts up but doesn't drive anywhere. Also got a slight issue with the video, but I don't know if that's um, related to the problem or something else. Now here it's showing us that all of these chips U38 to uh, yeah U45. So this entire bank here, I don't know whether you can really see it, but there's one, two, there's eight chips here, another eight here. So this entire first bank of chips. It's coming up bad and here we have confirmation that bank zero and this is bank one and at bank one I believe does come up with one chip one RAM chip being bad which is 53 as I recall let's see and that says it's okay no now it says it's bad so it went from okay to bad so we have some serious issues here the kernels working basic character PLAs are fine, SID chips fine which is a bit of a bonus if this machine is unfixable. So yeah the issue seems to be this bank here. Now what I did do uh, is change the 74LS chip here, the multiplexer, I figured that could have been the problem. Seems unlikely to me and according to the internet it's very unusual for C128 to have problems with these chips unlike 64 does. So I'm figuring it's not just a bad RAM chip, it's the entire bank. So I changed the multiplexer, um, which is quite a long job, but that doesn't seem to have made any difference whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is maybe when I get the parts is try changing. There's another multiplexer here, U12. I believe. Uh, and after that I'm not sure, we'll have to do more research. Now the other interesting thing is, the reason I'm looking at this area U12 is we pop in yet another diagnostics test like so. see what we've got. We've got variety. Doctor 64 won't run because it's 20k. Diagnostic 64 however will run because it's only 8k. I think we've got about 8k of usable RAM working. And here it's saying for the RAM we've got a bad U12 which is this multiplexer. So I'm hoping if I change that then it might solve the problem. Uh, not 100% sure. The U12 looks fine. I could, I guess, I should do some proper tests with a meter, but yeah. And these things, that's pretty typical because they have the dongles in. 
So just to finish this video, uh, yeah, don't have the keyboard on, so see if we can get to the 64 another way. So I'm looking for some help advice on this one. Could be this uh, multiplexer here, whatever it's called. DM74L could be the actual RAM chips, but unlikely. No, it's in one to eight. So I get into sixty-four without keyboard. Mm -mm -mm. So it should crash now due to the lack of RAM, yeah. Oh, you bugger. This is what happens if you try and load a different test program. Okay, so I can't get to the 60. Oh, maybe I can. Yes, I can. This is why the EG Flash 3 is so nice. Yes, I can. Ooh, or maybe not. Okay, yeah, okay, close enough. So 295 bytes free. Um, so that is that. Yes, yeah, so any help advice would be uh, good on that, and I'll get back to you in the meantime if I don't get any advice. Uh, hopefully, this week I'll change the U12. And also, I think I've got some more RAM chips coming. I'll try hot chipping them. See if I can find anything there. Okay, thanks for watching, and good night, goodbye, good afternoon, good morning. Ciao.